Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. When was Roe v. Wade brought to the Supreme Court? The case of Roe v. Wade originated from a challenge to the abortion laws in Texas. In 1969, Norma McCorvey, under the pseudonym Jane Roe, became pregnant with her third child and sought an abortion, which was illegal in Texas except to save the mother's life. McCorvey's lawyers, Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, filed a lawsuit on her behalf in U.S. federal court against Henry Wade, the district attorney of Dallas County, Texas. This lawsuit was filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas. The case was heard by a special three-judge court of the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas. On June 17, 1970, the three judges unanimously ruled in McCorvey's favor, declaring the Texas abortion laws unconstitutional. Following this decision, the parties appealed the ruling to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court agreed to hear the case, and it was argued before the court on December 13, 1971. Due to the complexity of the case, it was re-argued on October 11, 1972. The Supreme Court issued its landmark decision on January 22, 1973, ruling that unduly restrictive state regulation of abortion is unconstitutional and establishing a woman's constitutional right to privacy, which includes the right to have an abortion. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.